Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a self-grading timed quiz activity in Google Classroom. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my demo class. Let's jump into classwork and I'm going to create a new quiz assignment. Let's call it just fun quiz number two. And I give some brief directions or instructions like, please read the questions carefully before answering. Now down here, I wanna point out that your Google Classroom will automatically limit your students to one response to the quiz, meaning they have one attempt at answering everything on the quiz. It's going to automatically collect their email addresses and automatically restrict your quiz to being accessible only to people who are signed into your G Suite domain or your Google Workspaces domain. Here, we also have the option for grade importing, which will automatically put the quiz scores into your Google Classroom gradebook. Won't put it into other LMS gradebooks. If you want to put it into your LMS gradebook besides Google Classroom, you'll still have to manually import those. So now let's go ahead and click on blank quiz and actually create the quiz. And I'm going to rename it fun quiz number two. And let's make our first question here. What is the tallest mountain in the world? Give some choices here. Let's say so you have a few few answer choices in there. And of course, we want to make this a required question. Now let's go into our answer key. Give it a point value of five points or whatever point value you want to use. Put in our correct answer choice and we can add answer feedback. If it's correct, we'll say, hey, yeah. great job. If it's incorrect, let's say, uh, you know, that's not right. Here's a video about the tallest mountains in the world. And let's then click on the video link and we'll put in video, look for a video about Everest. And we can include that little link in there, that little video in there. And so we'll have that video link will be in the answer feedback for incorrect answers. Now let's add another question. Let's add one more question in here. And let's say I'm going to ask my students a question about a picture that I have on my desktop. And I'm going to use this one here that I have in my folder for demos. And in this question, I'm going to say, what is the largest passenger jet in the world. Give some answer choices here. Now again, go to my answer key and we can again put in answer feedback if we want to. Let's make sure we have a point value of five points. We're good and done. Now, the next thing that I want to do is, again, I wanted to make this a timed activity. So in the add-ons menu, I have an add-on called Form Limiter. And you can get more add-ons by going to the More menu here and searching for add-ons if you don't have Form Limiter already installed. I'm going to use Form Limiter. Let's set a limit. And with my limit, I'm going to choose date and time. And I'll stop accepting responses, let's say on Tuesday at, I don't 
of 9 a.m. I'm going to set that. And they'll see a little notification at, if they try to answer after 9 a.m. on October 20th that this form is no longer accepting responses. So let's save and enable that. Now, I'm all set with this page. And let's go in here and under my due date, I'm going to choose, it's due at 9 a.m. So it's gonna match up to my Google form that I've just made. I can put it in any topic I want to. But what I'm going to do is rather than assigning it right now, I'm going to schedule it for a specific time. I only want my students to be able to take this quiz between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. on October 20th. So I'm going to set it for October 20th. It's going to be at 8 a.m. So now fun quiz number two is scheduled to appear October 20th at 8 a.m. and with my form limiter enabled, I'm going to have it set to close at 9 a.m. on the 20th as well. So that's how you can create a self-grading timed activity in Google Classroom. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.